All right, welcome back. It is 5 April 2022. I want to do a little video on some tips I have just to keep your record straight, what you can do with your, um, just for tax reporting, and just an overall sense of what you're doing in your crypto journey, your crypto hobby, your crypto business. A lot of, uh, a lot of the guys have been in for a while, know this stuff, and it, you just learn it by uh, trial and error. You got to keep records. It's not that hard when you go out and buy something. When you go out and buy something, you buy a membership, you buy, a, you pay for a service, you buy a GPU, uh, you buy some hardware accessories, uh, whatever. Just write it down, and it's so simple. And you can do a Google Doc if you don't mind using Google to share your information because, again, it's on their servers and they can see everything. If you have a problem with that, I would just use an Excel or a uh, numbers spreadsheet if you're on a Mac. Just open it up and just simply make a couple columns like I did here, a couple calculations for total. And uh, as you buy stuff, just write it down, jot it down where you got it, what type of... Uh, item it is, what the date is, uh, the cost, and then if you actually resold it, I put those over here, price sold, did I sell it, and uh, where I sold it, and if there was a profit, I didn't sell it, because you may find you end up selling equipment you don't need a GPU, you just want to get rid of, or you, you know, you're done crypto mining, you just want to start selling your equipment on, stock, on eBay or something like that, or um, uh, Facebook Marketplace, or whatever. You know, you can put that stuff in there. Just pre-populate, you're done. You, you did it once. It's ready to go if you need it. So that is my recommendation right now. And uh, so what I did, I just saw some, you know, I saw a Ryzen 9 3900X on eBay. And I was able to bid for it. This is tax and shipping. So I got it for 349 And, you know, on Amazon, they're like 500 plus, right? And this is open box, so I figured, eh, why not just get it? I mean, crypt, uh, CPU mining is really down right now, so I figured I'd just go ahead and buy this CPU just to have it. And I also went and found a 3950, because I only have 3900Xs, so I saw a 3950 used, and I figured I got, I'd get it for 425. This is with tax and shipping all slapped on top of it. So, yeah, it's I probably spent 70 more bucks than I should have on it. And I have to now get accessories for this equipment. And I just put it down here. I got the uh, Kingston memory. And yeah, stretch that out. Oh, stretch that out. There you go. You get an idea here. And what I do when I go and buy stuff from um, Amazon or eBay, I just paste the links in. And then you have them right here. See how you mouse over? And then you have a nice reference to it. Because you will forget this stuff in a couple of weeks. What did I buy? Where did I buy it? This is why I do it. And then you get a sense of what you're spending. Are you just going crazy like I did when I first started mining? Spending way too much money? Uh, yeah, but I didn't know what I was doing. And I'm in ROI mode right now just trying to recoup my initial investment. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But right now I am ROI negative on my way working back. I think I've made about... Uh, one, not half. I think I made about a quarter, at 25% of my money back. Uh, I haven't sold anything. I only count what I've accumulated. So when I mine coins, I keep it. I hold. I'm one of those weirdos I hold because I think it's going to go up. I'm one of those guys where I don't need to pay the power with any other money. I got my own other money in savings to pay for money, uh, power, electricity, all that stuff. Uh, so I just hold the coins because I have the hopium that Ethereum and Bitcoin are going to go back up, up to where they were. Uh, you know, 4,000 plus, 70,000 on Bitcoin. I don't know. That's just the hopium. You don't know. It can go to zero. And then it's like, oh, crap. You know, you just don't know. Yeah. So here I had to buy extra equipment. And I just log everything. And you can see I bought MSI. I bought these used. I have no problem with used equipment, especially on Amazon. I, I knock Amazon now and then. But if you get something used on Amazon, they will take it back. They have the great return policy. And that's kind of when, if I buy something used, I'll go through Amazon. And uh, I did order a, I did get a 3900 used a few months ago. It came without any of the thermal paste, obviously. Someone returned it, had it installed. And a few pins were bent on the actual CPU. I straightened them, and things were working fine. So, yeah. But I saved hundreds of bucks. So, no, no, uh, 
no big deal, right? And I have my own thermal paste I just slapped on there. I'm good to go. Uh, I have not purchased any GPUs as of this year. This is 2022, and I did it. I made a new sheet for 2022, mainly for tax purposes, uh, and just to see what I'm spending. You know, here's my membership. I have my uh, Gmail thing set up uh, for my own domain, and I get that that's six bucks a month. Uh, there was a Discord for reseller bot I was in. That's 25, and I I put my tax prep fee. You know, the guy's gonna charge me 800 bucks for all the stuff he did for me. And also for last year's equipment purchases, which were, you know, a lot of money and a lot of hardware, I did do a P&L statement and I gave him a spreadsheet kind of like this with all my 2021 purchases. He took that and he did a um, Schedule C for me, sole proprietorship, and uh, basically depreciate the cost of the equipment over five years. So it's going to help me. You know, which is, I'm going to say, you know, it's north of uh, north of 10K, obviously, for all that equipment I bought. So about 20K I invested in uh, crypto mining with everything, hardware, uh, GPU, motherboard, CPUs, everything, cables, grow tent, fans, uh, just everything. Yeah, so I get to depreciate that. And I'm not an LLC. I'm not a, a Schedule C. I'm not incorporated anyway. I just did a sole proprietor Schedule C. Uh, depreciation on equipment and he set it up for five years I'll just be able to depreciate that money which is gonna be great and that's why I'm gonna keep track that's another benefit guys write it all down and just hand it to your CPA if he doesn't know what he's to do with it get another CPA um, he took my mining stuff he took my staking stuff took my interest on crypto stuff and uh, basically meshed it all together it worked out really well I mean I didn't owe any taxes which is always which is always a good thing and uh, yeah my recommendation yeah do a spreadsheet uh, you can even do your coins as well. Um, coins mined right here. I haven't updated that, so I've been bad about that. I need to do it, but I figure I just back up the wallets. Oh, that's another tip I have. If you uh, um, have a QT wallet for Raptorium, Pulsar, uh, Avion, Raptorium Lite, whatever it was, uh, and Redcoin, or whatever QT wallet you're using, encrypt it. Remember the encryption. Write it down. Put it in a safe. Uh, then back up the wallet and I back it up to a USB drive and put that somewhere else. I was backing up also to the same drive, which is stupid because if the drive fails, you know, I lost my wallet. So back it up to a USB and put that USB somewhere and label it. That is your wallet. So you know where to find it. Yeah. So that's another little tip. Just do it before you regret not doing it right back and stuff up. Uh, keys, passphrases, all that stuff. Put it in a safe, you know, don't let it out. And always think, what if someone stole your computer? If it's always on your computer, can you ever get your stuff back? Uh, that's my point. I take it, make it external storage, cold storage on a USB or print it out if you have uh, passphrases and stuff and put it somewhere secure. That way if someone won't be able to find it, you lock it up and it's secure. Yes, that's another tip I had. Yeah, that is all for today, man. I just want to point out, do the spreadsheet, do the spreadsheet. It has benefited me. And, you know, I have not bought much this year because I don't know what's going to happen with this crypto mining stuff. And I just said, I just want to beef up the CPUs because I did see two reasonably okay deals. And I just want to add two more CPUs to my uh, CPU rigs because uh, they burn less heat. Uh, they burn less electricity and they make less heat. So I'm happy. Yeah, right now I'm wrestling with this grow tent. It was getting hot. It was getting hot. And uh, I watched Chump Change videos. So shout out to him. And he was just w focusing his latest video on conserving power. And his CPU rigs weren't making any money going Raptorium. He just turned them off. And I was doing CPU mining on my two laptops with GPU mining. And I realized I shouldn't be doing that because on my other rigs when I was CPU mining with my GPUs, you would lose a little bit of performance on the GPUs on one or two of them. I just don't do that anymore. So in the laptops, I stopped mining it because it just wasn't worth the juice since Raptorium is way down. And I'm, I was heating those little laptops up. So now they just do GPU mining. Uh, so that will save on a little bit of power usage on the laptops. Then actually in the grow tent, let's go look. In this grow tent, I have this guy. This is my old 2013 gaming PC with six cards off it bunch of 36 uh, 3060s uh, 3060 ti and a bunch of 1660 supers i want to get more of them i want to get some a2000s but it's they're hard to get 
uh, 16 super 1660 supers are in available and they're dropping to the mid to low 300s I'm gonna wait a little bit and see if they drop even more but uh, I had these fans in the um, grow tent it's a bane of my existence is heat in this grow tent um, so I just had on the case it was a it was a gaming PC I built and it had sides on I took the sides off so it's really just a metal open frame and it had one two three fans I had built into it to, you know for airflow when it was in closed case I just turned you know following chump change thing I said you're right I don't need this and I don't know I just had them on because they were lit up and LED I unplugged all three of them because one one actually died I replaced it the other week it had a dust and everything on it just kind of failed after what almost almost eight years <laughs> and that's a Corsair brand so I turned all three of those off. The LEDs are off and the, th the three fans are no longer running. So I figured that's going to save on power in that rig, which is kind of good. And they're running off the motherboard. So I unplugged them from the motherboard. And uh, so that's going to that's maybe keep the temps power usage down on the board, hence, hence less temperature. And what's funny, I took those fans off and it really didn't matter having those fans running. Because, again, the case was open already. There's no sides on it and uh, air is flowing through the, the grow tent. So it was already flowing okay. I think the fans might have been blocking the air, maybe fighting it, I don't know. Because the temps I have now, if you look here, I got 49, 49, 47, 150 there, a 50 Celsius. And what is that one? That's a 3060 Ti, and that makes sense. That's a high performance. And then 45, 48. Before with the fans, I was in the 50s. So I dropped a couple degrees on average. Uh, just taking those fans out and I'm getting using less power so I'm all happy about that getting a little more conscious of that and I have another fan injecting air into the grow tent and I have that on medium I put it on low and the temperatures actually drop too so it's all positive and negative pressure with these grow tents you just got to play with them anyway just got sidetracked on that little tip today little crypto mining tips on a uh, I don't know what day it is Monday night uh, just to help you if you guys are figuring stuff out always love comments write them down what works for you and uh, you just don't know you got to keep trying you're always learning a uh, you know I figure all these a good crypto person is always learning and not afraid to admit what they don't know and I don't know half this crap and I'm still figuring out yeah I wish I knew what to buy I bought the CPUs gonna hook those up whenever they come and uh, get two more rigs online to do pulsar I just want to stack pulsar just to have it I know everything's low on some of these CPU coins but that you just want to get a bag and then maybe move over to Monero Ocean and work on XMR. Uh, that I think is the plan over the next month. Uh, yep. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. <sighs> Go forward to great things. Keep mining. Keep at it. It's a good hobby and you can make money, I think, if you do it right and hold. Um, I don't know. I just think mining and holding the coins may be a good strategy. I am not sure, but if you need the money, I can understand you got to get your Ethereum, whatever you're mining, whatever coin, and uh, cash out and pay your bills. That's fine, too. You got to do what you got to do. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, yeah. Take care. I'm out. Blammo.